the last several days in class, you've been learning and uh, reviewing how to work with complex numbers. And when I say work with, I mean add them, subtract them, multiply them, and divide them. And you've been you, learning the manual methods for doing that. And that's important to know because it reviews a lot of the properties of numbers that you need to know to be able to do all kinds of math. But what we're going to do in this clip is we're going to see how we can use a calculator to make that work easier. Now, I didn't show you how to use the calculator first because I want you to understand what's, what the calculator is doing. But now that I think you've practiced enough of uh, doing these problems manually, uh, I'll show you the short, uh, shortcuts or labor-saving uh, steps using the technology. So let's look at the problem that we have here, 3 plus 2i times 4 minus 2i. We're multiplying two complex numbers together. And so just as a quick review, let's, review, let's see how we would do this manually. So we're going to use the distributive property. You can use FOIL, but I don't really like FOIL. I'm just going to use good old distributive law to multiply these out. And so when I do that, I get this result. And so the way I got there was I multiplied the 3 times the 4 and I got a 12. I multiplied the 3 times the negative 2i to get the negative 6i. Now I'm done multiplying by the 3 so I'm going to move over here and I'm going to multiply the 2i times the 4 to get positive 8i. And then the positive 2i times the negative 2i to be a negative 4i squared. Now I need to simplify this expression and we're going to follow the, rooms of PEM, the rules of PEMDAS so we see that we have, don't have any parentheses here but we have exponents so we've got to clear the exponents first and we learned when we first learned about imaginary units that you never leave an i with an exponent because it always, it's always going to have some other value. So let's take a look at how we do that. We know i squared is equal to negative 1 so this i squared can change to negative 1 and then the negative 4 times the negative 1 gives us a positive 4. So we can rewrite this expression as this. All I've done is, using the steps that you just saw a second ago, this 4i squared now becomes the positive 4. Now I'm going to simplify this expression by just combining like terms. 12 and 4 are alike, so 12 plus 4 is equal to 16 and the negative 6i and 8r are alike, and when I combine those two, I get 2i. So my final answer here is 16 plus 2i. So that's a review of how we do that manually. Now let's take a look at how we can use the calculator to do that. So I'm going to take our TI-83 and we're going to clear it. And now we're just going to enter this multiplication expression into the calculator. So I'm going to start with the parentheses and it looks like my calculator froze up so give me just a second to relaunch it here. Okay, should be working now. Good. So I'm going to enter this problem into the calculator. So first, I'm going to start with the parentheses, and then just like I always do, the 3 plus 2. Now, you may not know how to enter the i. If you look down here, where the key is for the decimal point, right above that, and it's kind of small, and it may be faded on some of your calculators, but right above that, you see the lowercase i, and that is the imaginary unit. So we know that to activate the yellow symbols, we hit the second key. And then when we hit that decimal key again, you see that an I has been entered on the screen. So now I'm going to continue to enter my problem. Another parentheses, and I'm going to enter 4 minus 2 second I. So I'm going to close that parentheses. Now I'm going to hit enter and bam, look what we got, 16 plus 2i. So now you've got an easier way to do these kind of problems, but you know what the calculator is doing, so that if you ever have to manipulate a complex number in a larger equation where maybe the calculator won't be appropriate, you'll be able to do it, but for these kind of simpler multiplication problems, 
you can just go ahead and use the calculator. Now, the calculator will work for any manipulation of complex numbers, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. And in fact, probably the hardest thing that we do with complex numbers is to divide them. So let's just review those kind of problems and see if the calculator helps us. We've got a problem here of 1 plus 2i divided by 1 minus 3i. Now, when you learned how to do this manually, remember you took the denominator and you found the conjugate of that denominator. And the conjugate is simply the complex number with the sign between the real part and the imaginary part changed. So the conjugate of 1 minus 3i is 1 plus 3i. And then you learn that you're going to multiply both the denominator and the numerator by the 1 plus 3i. Now again, what we're doing here is we're really multiplying this original problem by the number 1, because anything divided by itself is 1. We're just using a special form of 1 to change what this looks like. We want to get rid of these i's at the bottom to show the quotient. So let's go ahead and do this multiplication. When you do this multiplication, I'm going to go ahead and pause for a few seconds. And I'm going to let you, on a piece of paper, do the, both the top uh, multiplication and the bottom multiplication. And you can pause the video if you like. Now, after you do those two multiplications and you simplify all the terms, you should have gotten to this answer, negative 5 plus 5i divided by 10. If you did not get this answer, I want you to pause the video again and go back and check your work. If you did get that answer, you should realize that you can take these two fractions and reduce them. Negative 5 over 10 is the same thing as negative 1 over 2. And 5i over 10 is the same thing as i divided by 2. And so now we can take this, because we have a common denominator, and we can rewrite it as two fractions. And then we just need to realize that, for example, on a multiple choice test, we may see this answer in this form. We see the fractions in decimal form. So we've got to recognize that all these answers are equivalent with this one and this one being the two best answers because they are the most simplified. Well, now let's see if that works on the calculator. Let's go back to our original problem and let's enter it into the calculator. We've got a 1 and actually I'm going to go ahead and use parentheses. So let me back up so that the calculator reads it correctly. We've got a 1 plus 2i. Again, to get the i, we hit the second and the decimal key. I'm going to close those parentheses. And we've got that divided by parentheses 1 minus a 3 second decimal point. Close it. I'm going to hit enter, and look at the answer we get, negative 0.5 plus 0.5i. And so we do end up with the same answer that we got when we did it manually. So now you've got a very powerful tool to help you work with complex numbers when you're adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. But again, it's good to know what the calculator is doing so that you can always uh, manipulate those manually if you need to. Go ahead and try some practice ones now.